What is going on everybody and welcome back to another episode of ZPW Wrestling. We're back and it is Clash of Champions time. Let's get right into it. Guys, tonight is an incredible night and you guys have to look forward to it because I know I am. Tonight we crowned the inaugural Tag Team Women's Champions. Tonight we discover who the next challenger for the Custom Women's Championship will be. But first, we find out if Jesse can get back on Jackal. This is very interesting because last episode this match was made official. Um, Jacqueline attacking Jesse. And. I uh, can't, can't remember what happened, but I know she was attacked by Jacqueline. How, however. Jacqueline, as. Part of the Anarchists also has a tag team title matchup tonight. So, possibly, this could be very troublesome for the Anarchists. Jacqueline in, uh, in front now. Remember guys, later on tonight we have Amaya Bird versus Evelyn Thompson for the third time, I believe. Uh, they're having a title match tonight and that's been heating up a bit. Evelyn with a few post-match attacks, uh, a mid-match attack, I believe, and everything. So we will see how that pans out tonight. And the winner of that match, it's so I'm so excited because whoever wins that match, not only do they become champion but they find out in our main event who will be facing them next armbar there from Jacqueline Jesse turned it around but Jacqueline turned that back right around into an arm bar no an arm break oh my god look at that arm stretch backwards that's gonna hurt Jacqueline, strong for her uh, demeanor, I suppose. She's very strong. You wouldn't expect it from a woman who looks like her, but she has a lot of hidden power, and uh, she, she knows how to use it, as you guys have seen. Powerbomb. Right on the back of the neck. And look at that forearm across the face of Jesse. Jesse getting out, only barely. Jacqueline has been dominant this whole match. Oh, okay, Jesse got a bit of a, a strike in there. And she's looking for the... No! Jacqueline ducked underneath those knees. She's used them before to great effect. I am quite um, confused because Jacqueline, uh, the Anarchists, they have a tag team matchup tonight. They have the inaugural Women's Tag Team Championship matchup tonight. They are participating in that. And I, she is in this match. Is that going to affect their performance? You have to wonder. Especially if Jesse brings it to, you know, Jacqueline. If, uh, it makes you wonder. Makes you wonder. Here we go, Jacqueline going for that roll through German. We've seen that before. 
Is that going to be enough? No, it's not. Beautiful maneuver. Absolutely beautiful. The momentum that she gets from that roll. It, oh, it's wondrous. I don't know how Jesse was able to kick out of that because I know I wouldn't be. Up and down. Back suplex there from Jesse. Jesse coming back a little. There's a rotating, rolling forearm. That's the one. Discus forearm. That's the one. There we go. My apologies. And a big knee right between the eyes. Bit of a combination offense here. If you don't remember, we also have our Fatal 5-Way Women's Showcase match. Now that is something I plan to have at every pay-per-view, except it won't necessarily always be a Fatal 5-Way match. Maybe it'll be a 8-Woman Battle Royal. Whatever it is... Big, nice, beautiful cross-body splash there from uh, Jesse. Sorry, uh, it will be a... We will go ahead for a showcase match at every pay-per-view. I, I, I believe everyone should have their time to shine. And if you don't have a singles or tag match or even a championship match at a pay-per-view, you know, you're often overlooked and forgotten. So I feel it's important to give women a chance to showcase themselves. Uh, that was beautiful there. Jesse... Uh, getting out of that suplex and turning it right into one of her own. But look at this, up on the shoulders. Drop down with a another elevated discus punch. And she could be looking... There it is! I believe she calls that the disco. Three... Oh my god! Jesse Brooks with the victory tonight. Oh my god. Able to. Oh my god. Wait. Oh. Boom. Boom. Jesse Brooks with the victory and able to fend off Je uh, Jacqueline. That has got to feel good for Jesse. Oh, that beautiful disco maneuver. I believe that's what she calls it. I'm not sure. But speaking, speaking of beautiful, here is she is sexy, she is smart, but she is deadly. This matchup come to light because of the issues uh, surrounding these two. Uh, Becca Jackson. Becca Jackson and L Lillian Flores, they had a matchup uh, a few weeks ago. A few episodes ago, my apologies. Um, I forget this isn't weekly. Like, this isn't on a schedule. Um, sorry, I'm burping. Bloody hell, that hurt my... That really hurt, actually. Um, oh, big move there from Lillian. Already in the match, a jumping knee by the looks of it. Um, they started up... They had a match-up a few weeks... A few episodes ago, and it was for the tournaments. Uh, Lillian Flores picking up the victory that night, and Becca ever since has consistently tried to ruin her chances at the tournament and quite frankly did um, against Starshine who is in the finals tonight uh, interfering in that matchup and smacking Lillian over the head with a steel chair um, and she has cost her other matches uh, 
Nikita Sanchez picked up a victory over Lillian due to a cutter from Becca Jackson. Uh, yeah, so Becca not impressed and uh, Becca no. <laughs> Becca is mad and Lillian isn't impressed, I assume. And so this matchup, that's how this matchup culminated tonight. Oh, almost got the three count there. Ooh. I was actually surprised when that wasn't it. Becca rolling through. Oh! Boast into the crowd. Oh, no, never mind. Up on the shoulders. And hung up on the ropes. Oh, here we go, working on that arm. Stomping on it! Oh, we've seen that one before. Boof. Now, tonight we have an um, extra long episode. There is Cutter! Cutter! The Becca Cutter! Shut up. Is that it? Three. Oh, that's it! Cut up! That cut up pretty much came out of nowhere. Oh my goodness! Oh, wow! That come out? That come out of nowhere? Oh my god! That shocked me. Lily is not impressed. Talking some trash, but so is Becca. Oh. Alright, ladies, calm down. Goodness. Like I was saying, we have an extra long episode tonight because of this match right here. We saw in the ring was the Sultry Sisters, Samantha and Stephanie. Now making their way down to the ring is the duo of Ivy Frost and Shade. They call themselves Too Cool. And I don't blame them. Extra long episode tonight because we have multiple title matches, multiple, multiple matches on hand. Sorry, I don't know what else to say, but we've got the title matches. We've got the approximately five seconds remaining. Everything. Five, four, three, and their opponents. One, the one, one. Hang on. Sorry, I am... That's that woman. That is that woman who attacked Becca Jackson backstage. That is that woman who has been wreaking havoc, essentially, on... This division in... Oh my god. She is aligned with the anarchists. We speculated that for ages, but she, here she is. She is on the same team as the anarchists, and she is here tonight to fight for the championship. Okay, we're starting off strong. Start off strong. This is a fatal four way tag team elimination style matchup. There's a lot of action going on in the ring. Oh my god, everyone is after each other. 
it looks like the Sultry Sisters and the Anarchists are working on each other. And Too Cool and Sophia and Hannah are working on each other as well. So I assumed it would have been ja um, Jacqueline and Ashley again tonight fighting like it has been every other t uh, time it has been the anarchists fighting, but no. Ashley and this, this woman are fighting tonight for the titles. That is insane. We've seen her interrupt on matches beforehand in the past. We, like we've... Here she is tonight, I suppose, making her in-ring debut. Essentially, I guess that's what it would be, yeah. Okay, there is a lot of action going on right now. Hannah is stuck. Uh, Hannah is on the outside, but looks like she's coming back in the ring now. Ivy was going for something big there, but she got kicked in the face by Sophia. Oh my goodness. Go oh, goodness me. Go to sleep there from Sophia. Oh my god, there's so much going on. Sophia with a pin wasn't enough. Look at those stomps right to the chest from Sophia to Samantha. Stephanie up with that woman. Mystery woman. I'm just trying to watch everyone. Hannah wrapping the legs of Ivy around the ropes. Alright, now we got some people spilling out to the outside. Samantha for a pin didn't get it on Ashley. Boom! Look at that jumping DDT there from Samantha out of nowhere. No, and a bridging. Oh, I don't know what they call that, but it's there. Oh! Look at- wait! Oh! Okay, uh, pinfall on Samantha, she kicks out. Stephanie has the Black Widow cinched on her. There's so much going on. Look at that from Ashley to Samantha. What is it? One, two, three. Oh my god. Samantha has been eliminated. And as you see. Oh, wait. Okay. Jade's been eliminated. My goodness. Holy moly. Okay. If you look, Ivy and Stephanie have not yet been eliminated because it is an elimination match. The last woman standing wins the title for her team, essentially. Look at that. From the top. Uh, Stephanie just gets dragged down. And now it's in the Black Widow submission. Boom! Look at that DDT there from Ivy. Stephanie refusing to tap. Ivy, Ivy on the top. And there is that temperature drop, but it missed. Kick to the gut. Missed there, but okay. I'm trying to pay attention to everyone. Samantha, Stephanie could be out. Yes, she is. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're down to three teams left. The Sultry Sisters have been eliminated. Currently in the ring is the full team of the Anarchists. The full team of. Jade and Hannah, uh, sorry, Sophia and Hannah, and Ivy from Too Cool. But a roll-up, that might change things. 
Oh, kick out there. Kick out at the last second. But she gets her arm wrench for her troubles. Ivy now going after Hannah. Oh, right, we're spinning around, sent on there. Oh, this means so much. This is the inaugural women. Look at this. One, two. Oh, key out there from Ashley. Just. Temperature drop. Oh, but Hannah's feet were under the ropes. Backbreaker there from Ashley. This crowns the inaugural women's tag team champions and it me it's so incredible miss moonsault there hang on look at that one two kick out there from sophia kick out there from ivy my god double pin double kick out boom oh look at that move that looked like it hurt boot right to the face Oh, and a reversal there. Oh. Ivy kicked her off. Sophia reversed. Oh. Okay, more reversals. Oh, wait, Ashley going for that spinning brain buster. There it is. And that woman, look at that move. Oh, that was... Brutal double pin again and a double elimination. Oh, wait, Ruff's gonna count it. Is Ivy in it? No, she's not. Double elimination from the Anarchists. It is the Anarchists versus Hannah. This isn't boding well for Hannah. Look at the double teaming. Stretching out her back on the outside. Oh my god, these women. Look at that double team just belting down on Hannah. This isn't fair. Oh, this isn't fair. There's Sophia, her tag team partner, but she has to go to the back. Oh, wait, Hannah's got a bit of a second window. Oh, oh, wait, there she goes. Oh, wait. The numbers game, it's too much. Suplex, German. Oh, oh my gosh, she got turned inside out with that. Oh. Oh. Hannah able to throw uh, Ashley to the floor, though. Working on that arm. Trying to soften it up. Potentially get an elimination with the Black Widow. But, God. Oh. Again, the numbers game. It's too much. She fights one off, and the other's there waiting with a fromy, frothy mouth. being dismantled on the outside I don't even know how she's gonna I don't even know if she's gonna be able to fight back oh thrown into the post knee right to the face and then a knee right to the leg right on that hamstring Oh, come on, you can't win with a submission on the outside. That's not fair. Pull him back on that, the head of Hannah. Just dumping her face on the floor. This isn't... Oh, come on. 
boasting in the ring now and heading right back out there to obliterate Hannah. Oh, but she, she kicks back. Oh, but I got a punch right in the face for the for her troubles. Now the double team. Mm, suplex. Oh my goodness. Does she have a chance? Can she pull off the victory of a lifetime? Sophia unable to do anything but watch from the backstage area. Is the anarchist just dismantle and destroy Hannah? Look, she hasn't moved. Oh! Again on that hamstring is Ashley. Oh, and says so that woman. Mystery Wall. I don't know her name. We don't know her name yet. I, we will figure that out for you for next episode. Just tossed back in the ring. She hasn't. She hasn't even tried to get up. Oh, okay. A little, little bit of miscommunication on the teamwork there. From the anarchists, but... Oh! Vicious knee and stop right to the arm. Is that gonna be it? Yeah. I don't blame. Oh. Hannah just had nothing left, but here. Here is your new women's tag team champions. Let's have a look at this match. Look at this, boom. Yeah, back right from Ashley. The new and inaugural tag team women's champions. The Anarchists. After a brutal match. They win. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Tetoma, the Anomaly, Alexia Blade. Oh, hang on. Oh. Taryn, Taryn Finch out of nowhere attacking Alexia Blade. I had no idea this rivalry was still going. Oh, crucifix her. These women. Are... There's a hatred between these women. Alexia fighting back now. Oh, but Taryn got it over. Oh. Turning her inside out with that one. Ah, that had to hurt. Oh! Mm, fuck. That had to have hurt. Did you hear that? Backbreaker. STO. Oh. Taryn, though, getting a bit of fight back. There's that crucifix again. Throw a couple punches and a beautiful Russian leg sweep. Alrighty, um, let's move on from that. Taryn now has a matchup um, against the Hooligan. Had to escort um, Alexia out of the building due 
to um, that little scuffle. Up next, I believe, we have our Custom Women's Championship match. So look forward to that because it will be Amaya Bird versus Evelyn Thompson in their final bout for the championship. Boom! Look at that! Everyone she says, but she's next to me. And she's been winning a lot in the past weeks. Oh, but she caught that and right into a power bomb. Oh my god. Fatal Five Way Women's Showcase match. So look for it. That, be fun? that comes after our title match. In our main event, we're going to be having Shelly, Indestructible Shelly, versus Starshine Sugar Slug for the final round in the tournament. This is the finals of the tournament. It happens here tonight. I'm so excited to see what happens. Indestructible Shelly has been quite frankly an indestructible warpath. Uh, oh, no, the three count. Defeating everyone she has come up against in this tournament in a very quick manner. Sasha, on the other hand, has been fighting with. Which has been fighting from the bottom, essentially. Almost struggling to even be here. Look at that drop kick. Boom! Beautiful springboarded drop kick to the hula hoop. Uh, yeah, Starshine scratching and clawing her way to be in this finals match. And tonight we're going to see if it pays off. If she can win the final hit. Oh, wait a minute. That's Taryn's move. That's the Taryn it up. <laughs> the whole ligand using Taryn's move against her on the outside. You can't pick up a victory, but that... That's got to hurt. <laughs> But I suppose if anyone knows how to get out of it, it would be Tanner. Oh! Jesus, sending her, sending her all of them into the stairs now. Oh! DDT on the outside. Up the top. Town looking to go. 
go. High risk. Oh, my God. Oh! Taron went for a... Oh, my God. A sky rise cross body. But got caught. How did... How did the hooligan catch that? Oh, my God. Hooligan able to catch a turn, top turnbuckle to the outside cross body and turn it around into a slam. And then she threw Taryn into the ring post. What, oh, what a whirlwind. Oh my god. Oh, leg swapped. Leg swept. She hit it, yes she does. Oh. I don't quite know what she calls that, but I, I think it's something along the lines of something rowdy. Yep. Buck Wild, I don't know. Buck Wild, I think that's what she calls it. Buck Wild. Alright, the hooligan picking up another victory. Congratulations to her. The following contest is scheduled for one fall oh, she's been and yeah, is she's for been. the Women's Championship. For that here tonight. Introducing the challenger in this match from Fargo, North the Dakota, Evelyn Thompson. And introducing the champion from Brussels, Belgium. She is the Thompson. women's champion, the unpredictable Amaya. Bird, the champ, the longest reigning champ, uh, able to pick the title up off. Oh shit, what's on? I can't remember her name, but like, I can't remember her name. George, she picked up the. She picked up the championship from Jordan. Jordan Lanza, that's the one. Able to win the championship from Jordan Lanza. Um, ages ago. Ages ago. I think she's on... I think she's breaking on 100 days. With the title. I believe. Not... Like I said, I'm not 100% sure of the actual stats and stuff. I could go back to I've had a few problems with the uh, game and resets. So, very nice. However, however, Evelyn could be looking to dethrone Amaya tonight. Unsuccessful in their title bouts. Um, Evelyn has actually picked up a. Look at that! Oh, right, dumped right on the back. Has picked up a victory over Amaya in a non titles match. That's how she actually earned this opportunity. She defeated Amaya in a one on one singles match. She uses a move she calls the Carousel Cutter, which is a rolling cutter. Um, and Amaya uses a tornado from the middle. Very interesting, both of these women have 
finishing maneuvers that very head the lady. Very head the lady. I just found it interesting. Now whoever wins here tonight will go on to be the champion and they will go on to find out who will be their next challenger after the main event tonight. So I'm I'm just I'm so pumped for tonight. A big leg drop from the top there from Already? Double knees. Amaya using the double knees already. We've seen her use that to great effect. Although, I don't know why she's walking so much. I think she's gloating a bit too much to the crowd and got caught in a German, which got turned around right into a clothesline. Ow. She reversed that though. Oh, everyone reversed that. Big leg. Pin four attempt here. I'd have to keep the check down. I got a feeling Evelyn knows this and is just toying with the champ. Big knee. Right across the throat of Amaya. That's got a tough to breathe. And you can't operate if you can't breathe. <laughs> Evan now attacking the leg. <laughs> oh, Amaya's back in it. Sorry, Amaya's back in it. Dumping. This is what she usually does to set up for Tornado Flatline. And there it is! Tornado Flatliner. Oh! Evelyn is just able to get her shoulder. Oh my goodness. That, that was really close. Am I calling for her to get up though? Ooh, double axe handle right to the noggin. Ooh! Put a pump kick out of nowhere. And wait! There it is! Carousel cutter! The carousel cutter out of nowhere. New champ. Two. Three. No! Oh my god, Amaya Bird just able to get that shoulder up. There was no nothing behind that kick. Look at that, she's dumped on her face yet again. Oh, she was going for it. She was going for it. That could have been the end of Amaya. Amaya turned it around with a fireman's carry. Oh, wait. Got caught with an elbow though. Boom, flattened with a fucking blows line. Oh, wait. I might just turned her inside out. Did you see it? Oh my goodness. And Amaya with a submission. We don't usually see this, but we've seen it before from her. Could she get Evelyn? No, Evelyn rolls through. We've seen Amaya pick up a submission victory before. Evelyn rolls through out of the fidget with armbar and it's tossed. Hip toss right into position. Could she be looking for it for the second time this match? There it is! It hits! Tornado Flatliner. Three! Yeah! Amaya is still your custom women's championship. Hold up, what the hell did I just say? Custom Amaya Bird is still your women's champion. Here is your winner and still women's champion, the unpredictable Amaya Burr! Evelyn, un 
successful in her attempts tonight. Still an impressive showdown because she was able to kick him out into another flat line. But talking about impressive, here is the women's Fatal Five Way Showcase matchup. You'll see it involves Tia Yamamoto, Silver Price, Gloria, Ruby, and Violet. Whoa, Silver up over the rope. Tia and Warrior to follow on the outside. Violet and Ruby at the rock. Ooh, beautiful neck but we figured out already who will be our champion heading into the following weeks in the next pay-per-view. But next up, we find out who will be the number one contender and the challenger for the Women's Championship at the upcoming pay-per-view. short of that, but oh, yeah. come short of tonight with Tia picking up a big blue, but that's not yet. Violet brought Zarea to the brink of defeat, however, so she must be coming with that. Ruby, we haven't seen too much of it. Um, she had her first round matchup in the tournament, and however that was against the indestructible Shelly. <coughs> She suffered the fate of uh, loss, as you do when you're up against her. Uh, but she's looking quite strong here tonight. Gloria debuting in the tournament, I believe. Sorry. I will also say, <clears throat> Ruby has teamed up with the likes of Valentine. He's made a Red Valentine <laughs> tag team matchup that happened earlier tonight. They almost qualified. There wasn't any official matches, and I based it on the most victorious women over the few. Tia Yamamoto caught Silver in that kick that has 
sideline of a win for uh, Ivy Frost and Rachel Abbott both injured when competing against the sport and she is dangerous. Oh, roll through. No. Oh, beautiful kick there from Tia. Silva could be down for the count, but if it wasn't for Ruby, we might have had a victor. I believe, by the looks of it, Gloria did debut in the tournament. Either that or she debuted that payback. I'm not 100% sure, but I want to say it was in the tournament. But she might get pinned to one. No, uh, Tia broke it up. Oh, beautiful mental. Beautiful mental. Violet showing off the athleticism that got her into this division. She is incredibly athletic and incredible in the ring. Uh, Ivy, uh, uh, Tia there suffering a seeing red. Or seeing ruby. No, I think it's seeing red. That beautiful spinning TKO. But making the pinfall when ring full of people, not the smartest thing to do. She got the punch for her bodies. Silver down. I just realized we have <laughs> we have Ruby in this matchup who uses the spinning TKO as her finishing maneuver and she calls it seeing red. We also have Silver Price in this matchup who uses a bicycle pump kick to the face. Let's hope it's that beautiful shooting star. Speaking of finishing maneuvers, Violet hitting the new VB on Gloria, but Gloria uh, saved by Tia. The match saved by Tia, that is. Uh, sorry, back to my point before. We have Silver Price who uses the bicycle club kick that she calls seeing Silver. So, very original names. Again, Tia saving the matchup for herself. Barrage of strikes on Ruby, but she got caught by Silva. Beautiful her brother. And Silva now going after Ruby. The two women I was just talking about. Beautiful. Oh, I thought she was going for um, a slice of red there. Slice break for Ruby. table but oh caught STO right over into a fury of punches wait a minute look at this in the ring the gory flatliner from Gloria oh my god she calls that the gourd oh but Silver got out what what I thought that was it I thought that was it. Gloria hitting the gourd and Silver able to kick out. Man, that was that was incredible. Gold. That was 
Oh, I'm actually shocked. I'm actually bewildered. Really Violet there, beautiful, beautiful neck breaker. Gloria going after Ruby. But a barrage of strikes and a beautiful drop key right to the knee. And now she's on Tia. Boom! Right to the face of Tia. Could Tia be out? Not by the looks of it. Look at Silver. Ooh. Need to break it up. Saving the match for herself. But hang on. Suplex. No! That was a beautiful board buster. That was a beautiful board buster. It was beautiful. It was gorgeous. Um, Gloria being wise, taking out her opponent, but she got turned around by Tia. And she took too long because now Violet and Ruby are coming back to the ring. Oh, Tia able to reverse that super to the knee. Stick forearm to the face, but Silver was right there. Drop right on the back of the neck. Great rebound there. Oh, Silver underneath and up and over with a beautiful Hurricane Rana paired just by the beauty of Ruby's DDT there. If that made any sense at all, I don't know. <laughs> Lovely STO. A pinfall and an immediate break up there from Violet. However, Violet on the apron now. Submission. But Gloria in the ring to break it up. And Violet just throwing her right back out again. <laughs> seeing Silver! Whoa! Seeing Silver out of nowhere there from Silver Price. Ruby able to kick out of it. Violet looked like she went back in the ring to break that up, but she got pulled out by Gloria. So. Silver Price went just hit a price drop on um on <laughs> sorry on Ruby and Gloria is locked in a submission attempt on the outside against Vic, uh, Vic Violet that won't work however Ruby on the outside. On the apron. Ruby on the apron. Tia and Silver squaring off in the ring. Beautiful kick there from Silver. Connected. Gloria now in the ring as well. Oh. Oh, beautiful bulldog there from Ruby. And Silver's down. Silver's down and out. Oh, beautiful. Wait a minute. There it is. There's that kick. There's that kick. Lights out. Violet in the ring. Violet missed. Violet missed. Violet went for the breakup, but she missed. Oh, look at that kick. Boom. There's one of those kicks there. Oh, beautiful UVB. There's that the beautiful Gord. T. Yamamoto victorious tonight. Outlasting the other four women. Here it is.
here we are, our main event for tonight, the finals of the tournament that we have had running now for over a month. Yay! Months worth of episodes anyways. Oh. <laughs> Indestructible Shelly. She is here tonight because of some of the most dominant victories we have seen in this roster as of yet. She overcome and beat Ruby, Dale Height, and Casey Backy. Incredible victories each time. And now she is here tonight looking for her fourth victory in her fourth match um, against this woman here. Starshine Sugar Slug. Clearly not a fan favorite <laughs> by the sounds of it. She in her. Oh, all right. Calm down. Oh. Damn. There are some people who are happy about her. She has overcome Gloria, Jade, and Lillian. Flores to be here tonight. She may not size up in comparison to Indestructible Shelly, but damn, she has heart. And she has got some fight in her. And here we go. Starting off, oh, able to avoid and block some of Shelly's uh, attacks there. But I don't know how long that's going to hold up because there is a beautiful falling suplex. Stalling falling suplex. Oh. oh just thrown. Thrown right to the floor and again picked up and just tossed. Going for a pinfall already. Starshine out before one. All oh, right, Shelly on that knee now. This tournament has been incredible. I have loved hosting this so much, and I will be hosting another tournament again in the future because I love tournaments so much. Look at this though, beautiful shit. Breaker into a back suplex there on Starshine. Starshine just absorbing all this punishment. Oh, okay, she's getting a little bit of offense in. I'll eat my words. Look at this, wheelbarrow, bulldog. She's got, she's got Shelly down. Shelly down on the mat for a beautiful bulldog up on the top though and a boom big splash big splash from the top she's going up again this is what it's gonna take leg drop no missed missed this is what it's going to take though multiple high risk maneuvers constant offense that is what you need to beat Shelly but Starshine hung up on the, draped across the top rope. And I just tossed out onto the apron. What's going on here? Oh, wait a minute. Mm! Spine first. Onto the apron and Shelly's ripping the stuff off the table. She could be looking for something big. Something huge even. Maya Bird remains the champion. 
but that might not be the case after this match tonight. Oh, just thrown, just tossed into the into the barricade there. if she was even going to use the table. Oh, wait! Starshine ducked underneath there. Oh! Wait a minute! There, oh, there it is! The indestructible bomb out of nowhere! And that's the end of the match. Oh! Look at that. Starshine just thrown around the ring thrown around the outside, into the barricade. But she had a glimmer of hope, she had a glimmer of hope. But uh, that hope, that spark was scuffed when that indestructible bomb was Here hit. Here is your winner, indestructible Shelly. Shelly is the winner of your tournament. Shelly is the number one contender and the indestructible one We'll be facing a Maya bird at the next pay-per-view. Thank you for watching. Bye.